My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today, in this video, we will introduce another type of entity that we haven't seen so far. Uh, and these are the separators. Um, so let's say you have um, such a dungeon here. So I, I prepared this happy little dungeon for this tutorial. Um, a, a dungeon map organized in in a room in rooms like this. Um, so far, if you play in such a dungeon, um, the camera will follow the hero, of course. But when you are close to the uh, edge of a room, you can see partially the the other rooms, the other rooms near nearby. So maybe that's okay for you, uh, but maybe not. So you can use actually separators to very easily uh, constrain the camera organ um, with respect to your your room's layout. So we'll see how you, how to do that in this tutorial. Um, maybe you don't want to do that. Actually, in my games, I used to not uh, separate rooms. Uh, first, because a long time ago, <laughs> separators were, were just not available in Solaris. Uh, but the other reason is that in some of my games, um, dungeons are quite complicated and are, are not that clearly organized in in rooms, uh, unlike this example. So here we have rooms that have exactly the same size as the quest size, so the screen which is here, uh, this size, you can check it here in your quest properties, 320 by 240. And my rooms have this, this exact size. So it's perfect for uh, the camera, right? If you, again, if, if I play this dungeon, um, I am exactly in, in this room. It perfectly fits uh, the size of the camera with, um, a margin of um, 16 pixels here. I decided that I wanted some space between my rooms, but you you are not uh, forced to do that, of course. Um, yeah, so let's just put some separators. Okay, let's go. So a separator is just basically a horizontal or vertical line that uh, blocks the camera and that's it the camera is not allowed to traverse separators and when the hero uh, crosses a separator then the camera will scroll and, and follow to the other room very similarly uh, to what would happen with with teleporters except that teletransporters really go from one map to another map, but here we are staying inside the same map. And it's really only a visual separation. Um, anything that happens in one room uh, stays when you go to another room. So enemies will stay alive. Uh, if you break a, a, a vase, it will not come back. But you can make a more advanced script to uh, automatically regenerate, regenerate the state of uh, rooms that you you leave when using a separator, even if it's on the same map. Um, but we will not cover this in, in this tutorial. Uh, okay, so what can we say about separators? They have a thickness of 16 pixels here in the quest editor, but um, actually they really act like um, like an entity uh, of of thickness uh, zero pixels, just a line. Um, the camera can be either on on the right half of the separator here, or on on, on the left half, but it's not allowed to. Uh, yeah, to, to overlap both sides uh, at the same time. So you have to pay attention 
to the constraints that you set um, with your separators here. For example, you should not create separator regions that are smaller than the camera because if you do that the camera will not be able to uh, to respect all your constraints. For instance, let's consider this smaller room here. I will put back 16 by 16 grid. If you might be tempted to make another separator here and another one here like that but that will just not work because this rectangle here is much smaller than the camera so there is no way that the camera fits and it will have to break one of the two constraints here it will have to overlap either this one or this one and also either the oops this one or this one so if you try that you will just have some uh, buggy behavior after the scrolling the the camera cannot respect all the constraints here so it will just be glitched so that's the main thing you want to to pay attention to with uh, separators um, okay it's possible to let's say we want to 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 have one room that that is bigger than the other one that occupies basically two two cells I will just merge these two rooms here and let's see what happens well actually nothing will change because I just edited some tiles but be, the separators really don't care about tiles at all so I will just scroll if, even if it's the same room visually you can do that if you want or you can reduce the size of the, the height of the separator here so here we have like a, a T configuration between with our separators and this is perfectly valid and there is no problem here we define we have defined a region that is bigger than the camera so no problem See, this time there is no separator so uh, we, we the camera will just follow the hero normally in this room and if we go there it will again separate the rooms so that allows you to make some bigger rooms without uh, a separator here remember that if you put a separator still um, you have to be careful with especially enemies because they can move and as I was as I was saying before they they still exist even if they are not in the same uh, separator region as you so we can see the sword here so it's obviously very very bad I can I could even kill the enemy from here but uh, yeah that's of course not what what you want so either you just don't put a separator here or you don't put enemies in such a room or you have a more advanced script that will just disable enemies that are not in the active uh, region of your separators um, okay so this is the way the way to do a, a room that is uh, bigger than that is basically that basically occupies multiple cells of uh, your grid. Um, okay, what if we want to make a room that has an L shape like this? Do you think this is possible? So I will I will remove the tiles here to again kind of merge these two two rooms like that uh, my wall is here and something like this so here uh, wait I need that 
here it will not work because what happens when the camera is close to, to this uh, reverse corner here it, it cannot uh, correctly respect the con constraints so if I'm completely to the right it will seem to work if I'm completely to the bottom it will also work but if I'm too close for now the camera respects this separator but now it uh, it no longer works because yeah there is there is just no way it works if the, the engine decide was deciding to block the camera completely like that when we are even here then it would it would it would kind of visually jump whenever you go up again so there is just no way that it works so don't do or be very careful with cameras with with, with rooms with an L shape like this so how can you solve the problem um, you have multiple choices either you put back one of the two separators like that or like that or both or you merge the four rooms together so maybe we, you, we, you will want to uh, remove some tiles here to make the rooms uh, more together or you put some uh, careful obstacles somewhere on your map um, such that the hero really cannot go uh, close to to this tricky corner here uh, so I don't know some barriers like that maybe um, <laughs> I'm doing something really really basic But just to show you the idea if you really make sure that the hero cannot go close enough to the problematic region then it might still work but you really have to be careful i i usually never do uh, l shapes like this it's much easier to keep your rooms rectangular yeah here I'm, I'm still a bit too close okay anyway I think you get the idea I uh, will just undo all of this um, yeah so, uh, so as a summary rooms that spans multiple cells are uh, completely fine but be careful when you try to do uh, L shapes like that um, okay and by the way the the margin between two rooms is 32 pixels here here this tile is 32 pixels and the margin between the um, here the edge of the map and the start of the room is 16 pixels um, the reason why this one is bigger is exactly because of separators so that on one side it's 16 pixels here and on the other side is also 16 pixels here so if we had no separators maybe we would do uh, a 16 pixel margin here like this instead of, of 32 um, anyway, you do as you want. Um, as a final note, um, also one remark, separators, I put them on any layer, it really doesn't matter. They ended up here on layer 1 because I created them on two tiles that were on layer 1, but they act in, independently of any layer 
because they act on on the camera okay and um yeah enemies cannot go through uh, separators no matter again of their layer or the layer of the separator and here we also have um, invisible walls that are obstacles for enemies but not for the hero and that uh, makes sure that we they, they won't mess with us uh, from the I mean they yeah from from another room final thing you have some we have two events on separators here um, they can allow you to do like I said more advanced stuff like automatically uh, disabling and recreating enemies or blocks or uh, pots things like that um, okay so I hope this was clear enough and I hope that it helped have fun with separators and that's all for now bye